Hello boys and girls, what are you doing? How's it going? How was a week ago from today, the last week that I saw you? I hope everything is going well, that everything is well and everything is fantastic, completely fantastic. So now let's get right to the subject matter at hand. Jitinder, what are we here to talk about today? I'm here to ask you, what would you do for the money? What do you mean, what would you do for the money? I mean, isn't that like, isn't that like a loaded question? It is a loaded question, but the question at hand is, what would you do? Let's say somebody comes up to me, well, not to me, I mean to you. And then they're like, here is one million, the dollar. I want you to do X, Y, Z. And uh, let's just say you have these deep, dark fears. Some fears, like legitimate fears. I'm talking about like, you know, sometimes people are like, look, man, uh, I could not travel, let's say five feet. And then somebody were to see my ass cheek. I would be like, totally, I would be like, chink, I'd be dead. Like I couldn't even handle it. You know what I mean? Like there are things that people have deep, deep in their psyche. And then let's say that this person is able to tap into that psyche and is able to do whatever it is that you are afraid of and ask you to do it, but for cash. My question is, would you do it? Now the age old question comes down to, would Jitinder do it? I have to basically say, if you find yourself to be in a point in your life, let's say you don't have like a bajillion dollars, like, you know, you are living in a kind of, uh, you know, you are, you are not borrowing, you are not uh, having to steal, you're not having to do a lot of things. But you know, you really want to have that car or you really want to live in a certain place or you really want to travel around the world or you really want to do something. I mean, the question is to me, would I do it? Now, the funny thing is, I remember I talked to somebody once and I guess the question come out, came out in that conversation. Would you have somebody put this into somebody's you know where? And the person surprisingly said, yes. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally would have said no. I mean, there's the line, you know what I mean? Coming back to that whole line and then crossing the line and then you're kind of like, where is the line? You know, that's what I'm kind of saying. So my question is to all of you people who are watching this channel, like, uh, let us let us just say, what is that? Would, would you have done it? Not to say that you are being judged incorrectly. I mean, sometimes people are in a dire situation. Sometimes they are in that moment where they're like, you know, I really could use that money. But so the question comes down to is that, where do you draw the line? Like, do you have to say to yourself, you know what, I would not do it because of that, 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 that. Tell you one of my fears. One of my fears is like, uh, it is it is basically all of a sudden that uh, if, if, if somebody was to come up to me and be like, hey, JT, um, you know what? I want you to basically marry my daughter. Let's just say for this example, it is somebody that I don't like. And then they are basically like, you know what, JT, this is the situation. We will give you $10 billion for you to marry. And then people are like, oh my God, I would totally marry, take the cash and then run. But then the thing is, is that would you feel happy about how you got that money? Some of you will be like, totally. I'm like so fine with it. I'm so fine with it that I'm totally fine with it. And then I personally don't think that that would be appropriate. I mean, then you would say basically, you are basically crapping on the institution of what you would call happy marriage. I mean, you would be some people like, I, I don't really care. You know, who cares? Oh, I don't really need these things. I just want the cash. But my bigger, bigger question is then, if you just want the cash, eventually when you go, like, and I mean, not like go down to get like, you know, some fast food chain food, but, but I mean is when you go, like you are no longer in this plane of existence and all of a sudden now you have to like go and uh, if you, whatever you believe in, whoever you believe in or whatever is going on, you basically have to answer for everything. Um, next thing you know, all of that money that you took is not longer with you. It is like, it is like the baggage of cash has left and you like basically, you landed at the airport, the carousel was there, you go to see where your luggage is and then your clothes and everything is gone. And then when you go to like the people, they're like, I'm sorry, we didn't lose it. It was done incorrectly. And therefore the suitcase is now off to Uganda. And you're like, but I wasn't even on a flight to Uganda. And they're like, well, guess what? Your suitcase is gone to Uganda. And then you think in your brain, no offense to the Ugandanese, that you are like, wait a second, if my bag is going to Uganda, what is the guarantee that the bag is going to come back from Uganda? And then the third person is like, tit, 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 tit. they're like, uh, sorry, there is nothing else I can do except your bag is going to enjoy a nice trip to Uganda. So the point of the matter that I'm trying to say is don't send your bags off to Uganda. 
you would be like, Why I don't understand. One minute you are talking about suitcases, money, and all that. Basically, I'm saying, don't be a bag of the D's. You know what I mean? You'd be like, why did you do this? Because that's a lot of D's. You know what I mean? You'd be like, be like D's like in D plus? No, D's between the people's legs. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I'm trying to say, is that sometimes people get motivated. They get motivated by money, but they don't really necessarily know what is going to be the solution. They think that that is going to be the problem solution. If you watch a lot of people who have truly have found the epitome of happiness, the big thing they say is that money doesn't do it for them. So you have to have the deeper inner feelings into your own D, you know what I mean? Like down there and be like, is my D really making me think with my other D? You know what I mean? I've lost my train of thought. I don't even know what D's I'm talking about anymore. But all I'm saying is don't be a bag of dicks. That is what I'm saying. So if you know that you're not going to be a bag of dicks, I'm pretty sure you're going to do well in this life. Now, what does that have to do with anything about this video or anything about the subject matter that we've talked about? It has absolutely nothing to do with the subject matter or what we discussed about. But I'm just trying to say is like, what would you do for money? You should basically, I'm not trying to, again, you know, sometimes, like I said, I'm not trying to attack you morally and I'm not trying to show you a titty in the process. Let me close the shirt. What I'm trying to say is that we as human beings collectively should have a love love and deep caring for one another for us not to say to each other you know what i would screw that person over for a few extra dollar i would do this for this and that you get what i'm trying to say there is a bigger picture but then people are like no i don't really care i want to go out and party i want to go out and really blind myself i just want to be blinded with all of this crap and then they, they, they lose the bigger picture Anyway, so with that being said, what did we take away from this? Don't ship off your suitcases to Uganda. And uh, if they do go off to Uganda, say goodbye. I love you people from Uganda. But sometimes, you know, I had a bag. It didn't necessarily go to Uganda. I just, the Uganda was the first place that came into my mind. So I'm sure Uganda is a lovely place. I'm just saying that I remember I once had a bag go and I don't remember when that bag came back. So guys, that's our time. That's our show. Please make sure you don't forget to comment also do the like also do something else follow the facebook follow the twitter follow my don't follow my d because that would be kind of weird uh, and what did i want to say last people to vote they were all saying said some names there were some votes but there was not enough comments so i've gone ahead and named this show myself it is now officially going to be called jt <laughs>